Yeah. Naked. Yeah. On top of the table. Cool. Okay. Luke, Luke Hello. Cook, um, the young team member of the, the House of Illusion, just like to congratulate you. Thank you. The, um, the little bit of bum fluff's finally started to grow. Yeah, um, the, my razor's broken, so I can't do anything about it. Really. Yeah, that's the first you've never shaved, have you? Really? No. Don't give it the razor's broken, that's the truth is you've never shaved. So, Luke, where did you start? How did you start doing magic? And where did um, it all begin? Well, I learnt my first trick in a juggling book. Cool. I learnt a bit of juggling when I was um, younger. Well, couple of years back. Yeah, really. what was your juggling trick? What was, it? what was it? It was called the robot, actually. It's where you juggle and throw two in one hand and throw in the other hand and then swap them over, sort of thing. So you confusing. like your juggling as well as magic? I like my juggling, yeah. And the one trick in the juggling book was you have a top hat and you juggle, put the three balls into a top hat, turn up, and balls on there and confetti flutters out. Very nice. You, you still perform a variation of that yeah. today? Still do it. Which is great. <laughs> First, sort of, when you start getting to magic, you, you don't like close up. It's not your thing, is it? No, I, I mean, I like I like watching it, but don't like doing it. I think it's probably because I can't really do it that well. So you're better doing the stage stuff. You like being yeah. doing the illusions. I like being on the stage. Cool. What's your favourite illusion? Favourite illusion has got to be soaring in half now. <laughs> Many illusions before here, or no, no illusions last year? before. Um, I'd done two seasons at Chroma okay. um, on a pier, it was a summer show, and I'd done a Christmas at a place called Firstford, which is a big Christmas show. Cool. And how North did you Africa. get your first job? Um, first job was from winning the competition, actually. That you um, won a yeah, I won a talent competition called um, Search for a Star, and there was an agent in the audience, and he gave me some work. Brilliant. It's a good way to start. Is it for people there getting into talent competitions? Is always a good good way to get yeah. out. The best way is doing what you did is get out and perform mm -hmm. in front of real people. If you're thinking of getting into entertainment or magic or anything at all, you're getting out in front of real people. The more you can do that, the better you're going to hit. Um, you did an audition. Yep. Uh, you performed your piece there, and I'll be honest with you. When we looked at your audition, we wasn't sure, mm -hmm. but you've grown and your talent now is performed and you're one of the stars of the House of Illusion. How do you feel of, like performing at the House of Illusion? Privileged. It's the best thing that's happened to me. Yeah. Because like I said, like, I hadn't touched Illusions before I came out here and didn't really know anything about them and now I've come out here and performing like some of the world's greatest illusions, like the Sword in Half, Levitation. <laughs> Yeah, when like you see your mates and they're talking about they've just bought the latest Transformer or the latest Action Man. Well, it, it wasn't. It was um, Crazy Bones they bought. You see, that's a, Crazy Bones. Um, basically, they're just. Is that like, a nickname for Glenn? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. If you, if you haven't got Crazy Bones, you see Glenn. Mm -hmm. Have a look at Glenn, and he's known as Crazy Bones. Crazy Bones. Favorite trick. Favorite trick. Um, that you've ever seen. I've ever seen. Gotta be Dave Copperfield sorting it out. Um, oh, with a laser. With a laser, with a laser. <laughs> We don't do escape, it's a different um, illusion, different setup, and, and it's, it's done with a laser, which those of you who have seen the show would have seen and, and know. Um, who has been your influence in magic? Main influence in magic, David Copperfield. Obviously, because he's an illusionist. And that's and where you see yourself, you like yeah, the illusions, yeah. the big tricks. Yeah. Luke, thank you very, very much. Just like to congratulate you on uh, learning to ride a bike and getting your 50 metres swimmer you certificate. Um, thanks a lot for spending the time with us and we'll see you do some magic shortly. Sure. You, you knock Matt's drink over, still on the table. Sorry, I don't know how I do that.